Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to come back and do another video on a popular little rifle that I have. I'm sure a lot of you have one, or, or you may not. Uh, they were popular in the time, and you know they've kind of been pushed aside now because of newer things coming out, you know, and uh, and all that. So so be it. This is a Marlin Model 60 W. Uh, 22 semi-automatic rifle. It's JM, it's a JM Marlin, made in North Haven, Connecticut. The gun is a 22 long rifle only. Will not shoot shorts or anything like that. I mean, uh, not through the tube. Now, here's the thing a lot of folks don't know, is you can manually put one at a time short in here. It, may, it may probably will eject it, but it won't feed it, so be that as it may i wouldn't do it it says 22 lr only and that's what i would shoot uh the rifle comes with a 15 round tube it'll hold 15 rounds in the tube of course gold trigger this is um this is walnut wood i topped it with this this little 22 mag scope from simmons little cheap scope the rifle had iron sights on it, and I had them on there up till maybe a year ago, and the back one got damaged. <clears throat> um, so that kind of just pushed me over the edge. Already my eyes were failing me, and I mean, I, I would rather have iron sights. I, rather, I wish I didn't have to use a scope. I've got other 22s that aren't scoped, but this was, this was my, my go-to rifle for a long time. I've killed rabbits and squirrels, and I've even killed deer with this rifle. Snakes, uh, whatever you can imagine. So, instead of getting rid of it, I just put a scope on it. it you know, it, it is what it is. It's now it's a scoped 22 rifle, which is good for me, I guess, being that I can't see anymore. But uh, back in the back in the day, I, me and this rifle fit together like a hand in a glove. I could shoot fairly well and this gun would stay with me. This is the most accurate 22 rifle I've ever laid my hands on. Not just this model, <clears throat> this rifle. I've had other Marlin Model 60s. Great and fairly accurate rifles. Nothing like this. I have actually shot dimes off of fence posts at 35 and 40 yards with bare sights when I could see. My buddies would stick a dime up in a little crack just so I could see the tiniest little bit of reflection and I could knock them off of this gun. I can't do that anymore. I probably couldn't do that now with a scope. But I mean, I'm, you know, 25 years older and can't see. But uh, it's got the brass safety and ethics foundation medallion in it, Marlin butt plate, nothing special. This gun means a lot to me. I, I put mine and my wife's wedding anniversary on it when we got married. I just scratched it in the wood. And I started scratching in the form the year I got it was in the year 2000. And I quit doing that in 2016. It's, uh, there it is. I need to catch it up because it's 2021. But <clears throat> basic 22 rifle. Take down bolt, pull that bolt out, and you pull out this one on the trigger guard and this one. And the whole thing separates from the wood. Uh, the, the, the barreled action will completely separate from the wood, uh, which is good for cleaning. Occasionally, you need to, to separate them and clean them because moisture will get it'll get down in here under this barrel. Yeah. Uh, Marlin probably sold. I don't know. I'm just completely guessing now, but I would say a couple of million of these rifles, if not more. They sold a thump of them. And they, they were micro-grooved barrels, and that was sort of what made them famous. <clears throat> uh, extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. A lot of folks don't know this, but when this 22 rifle, when it empties this tube, this bolt will stay open. This here, you have to pull the bolt handle out, and you can hold it open manually yourself by pulling back and pulling this out, and that will hold it. This is the pin right here, that little tab. You push that to close the bolt. Uh, just like on a, on a pistol, you have to 
you know, either drop it or pull it back to, to disengage it so it'll go forward. The rifle's still in decent shape for its age. I don't know how old it is now. It's not super duper old, but we know at least 20 years old. Um, and if I had to go in the woods right now to defend my life and my family and eat, this is what I'd take right here. <clears throat> That's it, just like you see it. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just like it is. It's pain in the rear end to, to, to load and all. You have to pull this tube out, pull it out. Drop your rounds in this slot right here. And you drop 15 in the top of it, it'll be right there. You have to put this tube back in. Put it in and push it and turn it to lock it in place. Then you pull this back and you see it stayed open because it's empty. Now you have to push this to get it up. Now, on the reverse end of that, this is very, very important. And I want, I want you to take my word for it. If you've got a loaded tube, <coughs> naturally you're gonna think, well, I can move, remove that tube <coughs> and dump out the rounds and the gun will be unloaded. And it, 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 it will, but not really. <coughs> there's always, always on these Marlins, there's always going to be two rounds in here that will not fall out with gravity. So, if you were to do that thinking it's unloaded, and then poke this back in here, and, you know, thinking that you've got an unloaded gun, you won't feel them. And if you don't manually look, and you just do this, and then pull the trigger, you just fire it around. Because there's two rounds that always one. There's always one. But most of the time, there's two rounds that will not fall out. How do I get them out, you ask? Glad you asked. You have to put the tube in it. Manually cycle it. It'll throw it out. Let it forward. Manually cycle it again. It'll throw it out. Always visually inspect these Marlin rifles for being unloaded when you think it's unloaded. If you don't, I have fired right over there. I've shot slap through my ceiling with this rifle right here. Years ago, but I've done it doing just that. I wasn't paying it no attention. I dumped the rounds out, poked the tube in it, you know, and this was back, so I've let it forward, and I was going to put it in the safe, and I wanted to decock it, and bang, shot a damn hole right through the damn roof right here. I shouldn't tell you that. A lot of guys won't admit to doing that, but i done it. And I've had my hands on guns since I was knee high to a grasshopper. And I knew better. I knew this rifle, this model rifle, was notorious for that very thing. You know, it's a negligent, negligent discharge. It, you know, thank God I had sense enough to have the gun pointed up. You know, uh, somebody could have lost their life. So I'm telling you that, and I'm admitting that to you, so you'll always know with a Model 60 or any variant, the Revelation. Uh, there are several variants of this rifle, uh, and it's always the same thing, the same thing. There's always one or two left in here. Some of them, the, the, the barrel is shortened, and this will be, it'll be flush. Uh, some of them have different names on them. You know, it could be... Uh, it could be a number of things, but if they're this design, always know that, okay? All right. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my Model 60. Uh, ain't a whole lot to say about it. It's been with me for over 20 years. I don't see it ever going anywhere. One of my grandchildren will have this, and they'll pass it down to their kids, hopefully. And uh, then it'll be up to them to do what they want to do with it. I don't, I hadn't run a serial number, don't care what age it is, because it's not for sale. It's mine, and it, it never will go anywhere, and uh, that's just how that is. So, <clears throat> I did this little video because I know this is a fairly popular rifle, um, and I wanted to, to really stress that to you about the unloading deal and about the rounds being stuck in there. 
always know that. So, anyway, if that's helped you any, I don't know that it did, but if it helped you any, uh, subscribe, like, and share my videos, do all the stuff you want to do uh, that you know you do on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we, you know, the world's getting to be a scary place. Arm yourselves. Carry your gun. Carry your handgun. Train with your handgun and with the ammo you intend to use every time. Be prepared. Don't be a victim. Be prepared. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.